All right, hi everybody. In today's video, we're gonna learn about sound and how to use sound in a game. We're gonna create some background sounds or incident sounds or sounds that happen at particular instances or events in a game. So in this case, we're gonna make sounds uh, for when the cat eats the orange and when cat eats the apple, and we're gonna have a background sound uh, for the game. So I still have my controls here, my left arrow, right arrow, up arrow, down arrow, and the um, uh, cat animates when I press a key. And I have a message system set up for when the sprites collide. So when the cat touches the apple, it's, the size is going to go in half. And I send a message to eat apple. And when I receive the eat apple message, the apple hides. And same with the orange. The orange uh, receives a message uh, when the cat touches the orange. And in this case, the cat goes back to 100%. So now we just need to add some sound effects for that. We can go into the sound menu. And we only have the wand uh, sound effect added. So we need to add more sound effects. So if I go to choose the sound, I can add all sorts of sounds. So I want effects. And when you hover your mouse over the purple icon, the play icon, will play the sound. So I'm going to add a couple sounds here. There, there's my one. There's my magic spell sound, and pick my bite sound. Hmm. And I'm gonna add a background sound for the game. So for that, you can go into loops. Before, if you wanted just special effects for specific instances in a game, you could look here. These are all very short sounds, and in the loops, the sounds are longer, so they can. Uh, play over and over again during the game. And here is my background loop. Now let's code the sounds. So everything's set up. I just need to add the sound effect for when the cat touches the apple and when the cat topples, uh, when the cat touches the orange. So let's go into sounds. Let's go in. There's two types of. Uh, sound playing here there's the play sound until done command and there's the start sound so the problem with the play sound command is the command will sit here and play the sound until it's done nothing after this command will start so for example okay so when i start this when the green flag clicks it says play sound video game until done and then it says hello for two seconds so when i click this the background sound keeps playing until it is done. And then after it's done, it moves to the next command. There we go. Uh, the good thing about this command, the start sound, is it just starts the sound, it just starts playing it, and then it will move to the next command, like this. There, see? The cat said hello right away, as soon as the music started playing. So that's the difference between the start sound and the play sound until done. Play sound until done stays at this block until the song is done. So let us use the start sound command. So we're just going to play the sound when the, the cat eats the apple. And I'm going to change it to a bite and plug it into there. And then I'm going to grab another one. And I want that one to uh, magic spell. I can go into here. So these are my uh, event sound effects for when the cat eats the fruit. So let's play it. There we go. Right on. Now we just need some background sound effects. So to do that, we're going to use a uh, when the green flag is clicked. So the sound will start right away. And we're going to use the play sound until done. Now, if I just leave it like this, the game will start and the song will play until done and then it ends. So what happens when the song ends? We need to start need it to start over. So we're going to put it in a forever loop. This little song just keeps playing and playing and playing. Now we're going to put an option in here for the players to turn off the background sound. So some uh, players don't like that. So we're going to use another when the green flag is clicked, we're going to create a variable in the variable section called sound. Okay. 
now we need a, a forever loop because we're always going to check if the sound uh, if the player wants the sound uh, level changed so we're going to go into the sound and go to set volume 200 percent so this is how we can control the the, uh, the sound so we're going to let the player we're going to let the players control this so we're going to put the variable sound inside the number part here so let's go to variables sound all right now how is the player going to control sound if we just click the sound bar here and again now there's a little slide bar here so i can set it at 100 or 50 or zero depending on whether or not i want sound there we go that's how you add sound uh, effects for events and for background sound loops in Scratch.